Today I'm delighted to speak to my colleague Brian Rubino. Brian, tell us about your research on peers and how to reduce turnover, particularly in STEM companies. Well, there's been a lot of existing research showing that if you have relations with other people in the organization in which you work, uh, you're more likely to stay in that organization. Now, this research is, you know, the old saw correlation is not causation, right? We've known that there's a correlation between these things. My research is trying to focus on which relationships really matter in terms of can we identify a causal association between social relationships and the re reduction in, in turnover and increase in persistence. And uh, I was able to do this and focusing on people in STEM, science, technology, engineering, mathematics careers, and found that it was really task-related relationships. So task interdependencies, work-related relationships where you're doing the work of the career, of the profession. The more relationships you have with other people in your profession, the more likely you are to stay. Brian, is that in the profession or in the profession in the organization? It's in the profession. So I was looking at the trans, I was looking at um, the persistence of people in these STEM careers, focusing on the transition from uh, school to workplaces. Okay. And it was the people who had uh, other, had, had these task relationships with other STEM individuals that persisted in the STEM careers. What's the implication of this? Well, so firms that are trying to hire people and trying to hire interns, especially engineering firms, right? They're hiring interns and the uh, and turnover among particularly women in engineering is a big problem and they're trying to find ways to uh, retain the women and, and everybody that they're hiring. So one of the implications of this is the sooner you can actually build these task relationships, the more likely these people are to stay. And so uh, I was talking with some engineering firms, I had the opportunity to interact with them, and my, my suggestion, what I was encouraging them to do was try to, as soon as possible, create some kind of project, some kind of work-related project for the people that you're hiring. And the sooner you can have this project where they're working together within the, either the incoming cohort or the new hires and existing employees, it doesn't really matter, the sooner you do that, the more they're gonna be building these relationships that encourage them to stay.